Good morning, Unicorn Campers. We are gonna get ready to start our day by singing our Together We Learn theme song. Sing with me at home. A, B, C, Z, and one, two, threes. Shapes and colors more you'll see. We are learning all our lives. Together with you is twice as nice. We will learn and we will be very, very proud, you'll see. All right, stand up. We're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance. Take your right hand, stick it over your heart. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Repeat after me. I am smart. I am smart. I am kind. I am kind. I am important. I am important. And remember, a person's a person, no matter how small. Okay, today we're going to start off by reading a story called How to Catch a Unicorn. <gasps> that sounds like a really cool thing that you could probably do at home. Let's find out. On this bright and shiny morning, I want something fun to do. So I'm riding on a rainbow and I'm heading to the zoo. The kids think they have spotted me. I thought I'd blend in here. I cannot let them catch me or my magic will disappear. Is that a unicorn? I think they can fly. I believe they fart glitter. I heard they can shrink. Let's catch it. Luckily, my animal friends from the zebra to the ape are all on board to help me. They will make sure I escape. First, I see my stripy cousins, but then I have to fly. As much as I like lemonade, I have to say goodbye. Unicorn lemonade. I dodge the plastic parachute being launched from down below. I do a spin and leave a trail of glitter as I go. I chill with all my penguin pals because these tracks are everywhere. I'll head to the nocturnal house. I hope it's safe in there. See cutest unicorn here. Wow, this room is super dark. I'm glad I'm a unicorn. Who knows what I might walk into without my magic horn. Now I'm off to see more friends. It's time to shrink my size, but it sure is hard to see in here with all these butterflies. My, my nose smells something super sweet coming from the cafe. Oh, yum, I snag a little bite before I fly away. Unicorns eat for free. Next up, I go to where it's hot and where there's lots of scales. The snakes and lizards help me, through, th though with their clever use of tails. I'm big again and with more friends, these monkeys make me laugh, but I would have been caught easily if not for the giraffe. What's over there? A paddle boat? This could be lots of fun. I would stay in the water, but my friends are roaring. Run! While visiting my beaver friends, I spy a welcome sight. My true friends come to save the day with their bold, brave beaver bite. Unicorn Castle. The gift shop makes the perfect place for your elaborate trap. But luckily for me, there's a decoy to safely take the wrap. I had fun with my friends today. The zoo has been a blast. You tried your best, your traps were smart, but unicorns are fast. Now it's time for me to go and maybe take a nap. 
Meanwhile, keep on trying, kids. I'll be back to test your traps. The better luck next time. The end. So maybe today at home, you could build your very own unicorn trap and see what happens the next morning. You might catch something you'll have to see. All right, we are going to go over our color words today. So I want to see if you remember some of our fun sayings from yesterday. All right. Gray, gray, ate a lunch tray. So we have over here, we have pink coming up. If you can get down in there, that's gonna probably come up pretty soon. You see that pink? We have green going into blue, and then blue is going into orange. That is an easy science experiment you could do at home. All you need is food coloring, water, and paper towels. Very neat. All right, let's come over here to our board. I want to talk about some of the colors of the rainbow. We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors are in the rainbow. Let's say those again. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and Violet, good job. All right, come over here. We're gonna figure out what day it is with our calendar today. All right, let's count all the way down here so we can figure out what day it is. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16. Today is 16. And I'm going to put up a pink pail because my pattern goes green, pink, green, pink, green, pink. Think about what tomorrow's going to be. All right, let's follow 16 up. Do, 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 do. Repeat after me. Today is. Today is. Tuesday. Tuesday. June. June. 16th. 16th. Tuesday is a day of the week, and there are seven days in the whole week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, 
All day long, all day long. Yesterday was Monday, tomorrow will be Wednesday. Let's have fun, let's have fun. All right, up here is my month. J-U-N-E spells June. June is the sixth month and there are 12 months in the whole year. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Good job. All right, so today we are going to do some yoga poses. So I'm gonna show you a couple yoga poses. And the first thing we have to do is we have to Take three deep breaths. Are you ready? All right, are you nice and relaxed? Okay, our first pose is the moon pose and we're gonna make a crescent moon today. So I want you to reach your arms up and bend over to the side as far as you can. Nice stretch. Okay, back up. Now we're gonna make a crescent moon to the other side. Ready? And bend to the side and back up. Oh, that stretched out my sides. How about you? Okay, our next pose we're going to do is the star pose. So I want you to stand up nice and tall. One hand here, one hand here, one leg here, and one leg here. Get nice and stretched out. Can you reach your fingers? Make a big star. Okay, good job. Let's try that one more time. Ready? Out, 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 out. And stretch. Oh, good job. Okay, the next pose I want to do is a sun pose. Oh no, I'm sorry, a rainbow pose. We're gonna do a rainbow pose. So spread your feet just like this. Take your arms up, touch your toes over here. And we're gonna go all the way up and touch your toes on the other side. And a nice rainbow. You have it. One more time. Up, bend over, and up, and over. Good job. Okay, our last pose is our unicorn pose. So I want you to get down on the ground. Okay, we're gonna come down like this on all fours, just how a horse would be. Okay, so you're gonna put your knees on the ground, your hands on the ground, and then I want you to take one of those hands, lift it up, you have to have, to have really good balance for that, and point your finger and stick it to your head. And then you can go around your house and pretend you are a unicorn. Okay, try that one more time. Let's try it with the other hand. Balance and point and make your unicorn. All right, good job. Okay, so I think, is that it, Miss Carrie? Do you have anything else? Do you want to talk to them about uh, the magic match game they might oh, want to yeah, play yeah. today? So the magic match game is in your um, bag. So all these pieces you lay down so you don't see the picture. And you can play with mom, dad, brother, sister. And then you're going to play it just like your matching game that you would. So you get to pick up one piece. Pick up a second piece. If they don't match, put them back down. But if they do match, you get to take those away from the pile. They're yours to keep, okay? So I want you to play that matching game today. That looks like a really fun game. All right, well, we will see you tomorrow. Bye, friends. Bye.